welcome. Welcome all. Welcome. So this, this is PowerShell Conference EU 2017. I'm so glad to have you here. You wouldn't believe how many things we tried and tested. And I'm so glad that it didn't work at first because it really sets the tone for this conference. Well, we sort of rehearsed jumping up on stage and then they're all sitting there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So, I would like to introduce to you this year's conference crew, which is our 42 speakers from 30 nations. And let me say this, they are just like you and me, they have family, they have other things to do, and still they volunteer to come here and present uh, or prepare demonstrations, share their knowledge with you. So, I think that's worth a big hand. So, welcome our speakers. Thank you. Now, the, uh, the priority number one, the reason why we do this conference is to have fun, to really spend three days of quality time among other PowerShell peer passionate professionals like you and me. And this is for you and it's for them as well. And I, well, we couldn't have had a better start than that because what I wanted to say was it is inevitable that something will go wrong. <laughs> so we sort of started with that a little bit. In case something goes wrong in a demonstration, maybe demo doesn't work, a beamer doesn't work, whatever it is, uh, there is no better place than a PowerShell conference to have a technical problem because it is almost like having a heart attack at the uh, World Congress of Cardiologists. <laughs> see, we are, you're used to fixing things, and so if you see something in a demo that is wrong, raise your hand. Just don't sit there and say, let's see how long it takes him to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just toss in your ideas. And uh, one of my favorite sessions last year was a session in the morning. I'm not mentioning any names. It was a crowded room. The presenter was ready to go. When in the last second it occurred to him that he forgot to install the video driver for his external output. So it was a really funny session. I, at the end, I think a delegate borrowed his uh, notebook and they RDP'd into that session. We take it as a challenge. Now, these are the speakers and we have our staff. Staff, could I please ask you up on front here on stage? All the staff, please. Now, our staff is here to help us. They make sure this conference really works. They registered you. They will, be, they will staff the info booth all day long, and there will be one staff per room trying to do the session recording, the one that didn't work this morning. Um, if you have a PowerShell question, I think there is no other place on this planet today that has a higher density of PowerShell wizardry. So ask one of the speakers. You can see them with their red lanyard. If you compare that to your own, it's different. So approach them. If you have a PowerShell question, don't approach the staff or else answers might be unpredictable. <laughs> and we have some, someone else in the background. I don't have a picture, like this is the staff. This is a picture from last year. Uh, that's the info area that we have set up. And we have the catering crew. I'm not sure about you, but I hate conferences with bad food. I can live on croissants and plastic wrapped sandwiches for a day, but not more than that. So our catering crew is really doing an amazing job, you will see. If you have any special requirements, all food is clearly marked, English and German. If you can't handle nuts and shellfish, stay away. Just in case, Annika is a paramedic in her real life. I am a medical doctor in my former life, and I would recommend that if you have a medical issue, you not approach me. That'll raise your chances of survival tremendously. Okay, so then please have a seat for now. The speakers, the stage will be yours uh, eventually. Um, yeah, let's welcome them again with a big hand. Okay, now, uh, before we dive into the content, um, I would like to go over a couple of housekeeping items so that you get the most out of this conference. First of all, I would like to introduce iStream. If you're wondering who are the guys with the cameras, that's iStream, and that's the stream team from iStream. They do a video from this whole conference, and I'm so glad to have them here because they captured the opening ceremony. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, if here's anyone that shouldn't be here because you are actually sick or you are officially with your affair or something, then please talk to Rob. Rob, where's Rob? Wh wh Rob, where are you? Rob Sewell. Rob, stand up. Oh, 
Rob is the man with the beard. <laughs> so get a beard. If you don't want to be in the video, we can't cut you out. <laughs> all right. So this is a challenge. Uh, we sent out delegate information to all of you asking to sign up at Slack. And that was a wonderful thing because many did. You can see those with a face and those with a, a colorful image. These are the ones that signed up to Slack. And we had a great warming up time. It's um, wonderful. We have Wi-Fi here. So if you ever get lost in this building, we have a channel, Lost and Found. So you can declare yourself as being lost and the, <laughs> the staff will get you. <laughs> but what we really want to do is create an epic poster of this conference. So the challenge really is for anyone who, has a, who doesn't see himself on this thing, go to powershell.world, sign up to Slack. And if you have signed up already, attach a picture. And the deal is, Tonight, I'll show you this picture again. It's created by PowerShell, by the way. I'll share the code. It's just a bunch of lines. Uh, so, I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll show you the picture tonight. And if we manage to get this halfway filled, then we'll send it to a print shop, and you'll, uh, to print shop, and you'll get, all get a printed copy of this on the third day. So you can take something home if you would like to. So please, sign up, PowerShell.world. Okay, so how did, do you get to that? We have Wi-Fi here, and there is an error. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can flip your badge on the badge backside. It gives you a room plan of the workshop area, but it also says Wi-Fi password psconf.eu. That's wrong. It's psconf.eu uh, without the dot. Um, there's also a speaker's uh, Wi-Fi with high bandwidth, and I would like to ask all speakers not to use that uh, except for your presentations, So, because we have some presentations that need really good coverage, uh, so resolve that for presentations. Okay, what else? We have last-minute agenda changes. Mark Gray unfortunately injured himself. He couldn't come. And Bruce? Bruce? Ah, there you are. He, he is taking over the session. There's no topic change. But we do have plenty of topic changes because Ravi couldn't come. He didn't get a visa. And uh, he was really an important presenter. He was supposed to present the pre-conference workshops yesterday. Fortunately, Ben Galens from the Netherlands was able to take over. Who of you has attended his workshops? OK, did you like them? OK, give him a hand. Ben, where are you? Ben, thanks so much. Um, then throughout the main conference, Jeff Wouters was recruited. He wanted to be a speaker, but he messed up his speaker's submissions, so he got a late chance to <laughs> get into the game. Jeff, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's get, okay. Oh, yeah, he said something like that. And, um, and uh, David, you are uh, holding a fantastic presentation about phosphor. Many of you probably haven't heard about Phosphor. That's the good thing about this conference. Lots of stuff that is new. And um, I would really like to thank InSpark because, well, that, that is uh, Ben's boss. Uh, when we asked if Ben could come a day earlier, he was uh, obviously supposed to work at a customer, and his boss immediately said, of course he can come. So that's really the spirit we need. Thanks a lot. And here is the reason why Ravi couldn't come. You probably have seen that during the opening ceremony. He sort of really messed up bad with his um, visa application. Still, I would say we uh, send big cheers to Ravi. Ravi, we miss you. Ravi, <laughs> wherever you are, if you watch this, next year we make sure you can be here. OK. So if you want to access the latest agenda, I would recommend that you download the Events XD free app. We learned from last year. Last year, we found out it's great to have an Events app, but it's not so great to have one that is incompatible with Microsoft Phone. Well, that's true. Uh, but let me ask this. Who is still using Microsoft Phone? <laughs> Whoa, OK, we did the right thing. Uh, please download the app because that is the only way how you can submit session feedback. And we would really like to get session feedback. If you just want to know what the agenda looks like, you can use PowerShell. This one-liner gives you a great conference app. You find this one-liner on psconf.eu. It opens up a grid view. It looks like this. You can use the text field to do a full text research into the agenda. It's really very useful. I was searching for DC tracks with Payette. 
and it sort of shrinks the information to your view. Or you can go to powershell.guide, that gives you a overview. It's just a plain HTML page with the agenda. Okay, now we had an agenda challenge. Because we actually decided to publish the agenda in JSON format, I knew PowerShellers would come up with some creativity, but I wasn't prepared for that. Some wrote a filter for Outlook so that you can take the JSON data and turn it into Outlook um, ICS. Uh, this is basically what's happening on Slack. That's the Slack channel that you can sign up with PowerShell.world. People are trying all kinds of crazy things. That is what this conference is about, playing. And then I think David Desnefs, he was creating a full-fledged application that is also available on Slack. And there's an extension for Visual Studio Code. So lots of things going on. And then there are other things. If you, twit if you Twitter, <coughs> there's this uh, chocolate challenge. Now, we had an agenda challenge, and then they now have a PSConf view chocolate challenge. So uh, that was from Yap. Yap, where are you? So did you bring chili chocolate? Actually, no. no yeah, it's his fault, of course. <laughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> I opened up a GitHub because what we want to do is uh, really uh, collect all the PowerShell snippets that we use throughout this conference to organize the conference and create a conference framework built on PowerShell. So if you want to use that later on in your own PowerShell Saturdays or community things, hopefully that'll work well. Okay, let's take a look at the agenda for today. Today in the morning, we'll stay in this room just as a way of um, helping you adjust. You don't have to move, you can sit where you are, throughout the full morning. You can move, if you want to, to the back door. There's the coffee breaks. And um, we will have three presentations here. Then we have the big challenge. We need to move from here to uh, the lunch area and the workshop area. And the challenge is it's a different building. It's the same level, level one. But to get there, we really have to go down and up again. That's, again, why we have this lost and found channel. And. Uh, <laughs> The track rooms, like when you, when you look at the agenda, after lunch, oh, by the way, ask the experts. I forgot about that. You see this roll up, ask the experts. At the end of last year's conference, a delegate approached me and said, I would have loved to talk to Jeffrey Snova in person. And so I said, why didn't you do that? I mean, that's why we're here. We're talking with each other. And so we, we clearly mark the speakers with these red lanyards, but during the lunchtime, we have a number of these roll up displays. They always have a topic, DSC, security, defense, whatever it is. So if you would like to, you can simply move your spaghetti plate closer to the spaghetti plates of those guys who really do these things and talk. So it's just an opportunity of getting in touch. Um, then we fan out into a four-track design, which raises the question, what if all of you want to go to one track? <laughs> that doesn't work. Uh, we have seen that yesterday with the workshop content. It was awesome to see how great people sort of distributed themselves to the different topics. But we made sure that we have good rooms. So these are the track rooms, and this is what we do on today and on day two and three. And you see, we have enough seats. We have a 75% fill rate for today, and we have a 65% fill rate for the next days, if it's evenly dis distributed. So there's enough space for you to change. If for some reason, a session is really full. I would like to ask you to go to another session. We have so many good sessions. I'm sure you'll find another one. But that is really the problem when you have a choice. Now, <laughs> it's just seconds away, so there's not much walking. It's just a couple seconds. You see, uh, if we wanted to translate that, this is really where we are. We are right now here. And to get to the workshop area, all you need to do is take the doors at the back of this room, walk in the first floor this, around this circle, and then go down to the ground level and go up again, and then you are right at the uh, workshop area. We have plenty of staff helping you get there. And um, yeah, you can simply follow the crowd doing lunch. Now, there is um, an update to your badge. You basically see this map on your badge. On your badge, it says, that we have the track f three, four, and five in this area back here. That's no longer the case. Um, on day one, two, and three, we have only track tracks 
three and four here. Track five is now the red room. It's a big room. We just made sure that we have more space and you have more air to breathe. So this is not right. This is going to be all track three and track five is going to be the red room. The red room was here. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Now, day two and three is even more dispersed. We have five tracks with all kinds of uh, sessions. And this is again from our Slack space. It is sometimes harder to decide which sessions you don't want to see than to pick those that you want to see. Because just thanks to all of your speakers, we have so many great sessions. Tonight, we want to come together and celebrate one year of work. I mean, many of you know each other by virtual means. You read PowerShell magazine, you're sharing things. Now we have the chance to connect, have a beer, spend time today. We are currently right here. And this is what we are going to do tonight. We are going to the zoo. It's just about one kilometer. Then at the main entrance, we we get into the zoo, please bring your badge. That's really important. Only when you have a badge, you can get into the zoo because the zoo is all private for us tonight. And then we walk down to the venue. That's where the drinks are and the food. And we can stay there till one o'clock at night. Then they kick us out. You can go earlier if you want to, of course. We don't have a polar bear feeding this year. We instead, we have the seals. But that's gonna be fun too. You have a couple of choices. You can be back at 5.30 here and enjoy the last round of speaker's questions. You can be at the hotel if you want to refresh yourself and just come here by 6.15. Then we together walk over to the zoo. Or you can go directly to the zoo if that's what you like. But, um, well, it's just a one-mile walk. You can take your car if you want. There's plenty of parking. You can go into the parking from the zoo. It's free. Um, or you can take the tram if you want to. It's really easy because it's just one station, direction zoo. <laughs> uh, or you can call a cab, but never ever tell the driver where you want to go. Otherwise, they'll never show up. Because it's just really very close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have this photo booth here. This photo booth um, can take pictures from you and you get printouts right away. That is really to conserve a memory. You can use that during the breaks here on stage. You can drag a speaker with you and do selfies. And we carry this sucker to the zoo tonight. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. However, make sure you know what you're take, the kind of pictures you're taking tonight, because they, we will place them online. You'll be able to download those. So naked body parts are off limits. Just uh, we'll see. Yeah, head is okay. <laughs> okay, and then we had some heartbreaking stories. Oh, last year we had these mugs. They were really favorite things. And Björn uh, had a hardware crash. Actually, it was a mug report, a bug report. So actually, it was a null handle exception. <laughs> and so... <laughs> <coughs> So, Björn, where are you? Can you stand up? Okay. Of course, we have a present for you. That's a replacement. <laughs> One of the few, few blue uh, mugs that we have left over. That's for you. All right. But uh, to be honest with you, and a, a conference like this, this is a huge conference and um, is only possible with many, many, with the help of many people. It includes the speakers who volunteer, it includes the venue people who help us, but it also includes you who are willing to come here and be part of this. So we have a full table of presents for you, not just for you all. Uh, and I would like to, before we dive into the content, just talk a little bit about that. Of course, we have a new PowerShell container for you, the delegates. It's not blue anymore. Uh, we, we got a couple of feedback. One was that we were politically incorrect because all the tea drinkers felt discriminated. The <laughs> old one said, get coffee or something. So let's see. Yeah, that's for all delegates. That's the new mug. 
It's green, and the reason why it's green is because our community advisory board thought we should pick the color in the most geekyish possible way. So it was decided that the color was taken from the Pantone color system, the color of the year, which happens to be the trend color of the year, too. So it, it goes well with your latest fashion. <laughs> and uh, we also fixed the coffee problem. It now reads this. So it's get a refill, Agent Minion, Prio High. And the pickup for those will be on day, day three. If any one of you cannot pick it up on day three, you please talk to the staff and you can get it earlier, of course. Uh, so everyone just one mug. And actually, to be, to, to be honest with you, I ordered 350 just because I wanted to keep 50 in my garage. <laughs> All gone. <laughs> We're more than 300 delegates. Okay. Now we have a Top Speaker 2016 award. This is the way for the delegates to say thank you to the speakers. Who of you has been here last year? We received your feedback and we, we want to say thank you on behalf of all the speakers. So the Top Speaker 2016 award goes to Will Harmjoy. <laughs> Come up on stage. Hey, thanks so much. That's for you. His session was so crowded, I was so happy that we didn't have the fire marshal with us. <laughs> that's coincidentally the reason, not that I want to take pressure on you, but that's why you have your next session in this big room. <laughs> 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 and we also have another uh, award. That's the uh, PS Con for you, Speakers of the Hearts. <coughs> and I'm not sure if you can guess who's going to get that one. <laughs> because Chrissy is a beer ambassador. <laughs> Chrissy, it's so good to have you. Come, come here in the middle. It's so good to have you. Man, that's so great. You, she always brings Belgian beer and trades it with Bavarian beer. That's for you. Why would she do that? Yeah, I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah. Why would she do that? I know why. All right. Okay, here's a how-to. If you want to get a mug like Chrissy's, and basically uh, this kind of sort of leaked the website I'm going to show you in a second. I was testing for maybe an hour, and it took about an hour, and we had a Twitter tweet about it. <laughs> I don't know how they got to this. So if you want to order one of these mugs, here are the steps. Simply navigate to this URL where you can <laughs> buy a generic beer mug order one, and then during the order process, there's a comment box, and then you can t type, bitte das PSConf EU Logo for them. Please use the PSConf EU Logo. I talked to them, they kept the logo, so you can get that. And if you cannot remember this, simply go to powershell.beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then, we thought, what can we do for you guys, aside from the mug? so that you can carry the knowledge that you gather here in many, many sessions uh, and take it home. And O'Reilly agreed to all German audience to give away a free ebook. And if you have, if you flip your, your badge and you have a yellow dot, then you are considered to be a German language background. If that is wrong, you're up shit creek. <laughs> <laughs> However, be, because we can't make any changes. If you have that book already, I'm sorry, um, then you have two now. Um, so that is going to be we have a big author signing tomorrow at lunchtime in the workshop area. And those who have a green dot, who has a green dot? English audience. We have something from Manning with Love. You get a printed book. You get Bruce's book, and Bruce agreed to sign it tomorrow. <laughs> However, that's a caveat. There's, there's an issue to this. <laughs> Bruce is working on his latest edition with Richard Sidaway, and I'm sort of proofreading this. It's an awesome book, but they sort of took their time. So it wasn't finished by the time we needed to make this deal. So the book you're getting has a very revealing statement, covers PowerShell version 2. So it's an older edition. But still, Manning told me there is a code inside of the book yeah, that gets you the ebook, and if you want the new book, once it's out, you get, I think, a 50% rebate or something. Well, we're just trying our best. 
Okay, then from Camp with Love, they agreed to sponsor the speaker's dinner tomorrow. That's great. So for all the speakers, tomorrow night you are treated by Kemp. Um, yeah, I like this one. <laughs> and um, from PSConf EU with love, I'm, well, let's see how long it takes you to, to, to spot the present. This goes to the PowerShell team. We are really honored to have so many team members with us. And we want to say thank you. Also, thank you to the team members that stayed behind in Redmond. So can, you, can anyone spot the present? Hint, we got you PowerShell.team. <laughs> <laughs> so you can now, it's also good for us too. So this goes to An Angel. That's, thank you. Thank you thank so you much for much. being here. Thank you. Woo. So before we, before we dive into, into the uh, sessions, it's 9.32, I'm almost ready to hand over to the keynote. I just wanted to talk about this for a second. Typically, I would have been kicked off stage by now because we have a really strict timing. And last year, we had these devices, so when a speaker reached 45 minutes, the hostess would go like this. And people thought that was intimidating. So we decided to change this. This year, we have this. But so that it doesn't come as a total surprise, we have these hourglasses. They go exactly 45 minutes, so anyone <laughs> just puts it here and we all know where we stand, okay? And the reason why we have this is basically because we really, it's a courtesy towards the next speaker so that they don't, oops, they don't lose any time. Also a courtesy to you because the coffee breaks are really designed to be coffee breaks and not backups for sessions. You want, you want to have this uh, chance to have a smoke, to have a coffee, to talk. By the way, I forgot to sh talk about that. When you look at the agenda, we have an inflationary number of coffee breaks almost after each session. That is also something we learned last year. Many of you want to talk, connect, and that's why we do this. Um, we have a backup device in case it breaks down. Uh, we'll just use this one. Uh, okay. I hope we don't need this. And um, I have two things here, I thought. just sort of like to show you we also have these things and uh, if you have a question the hostesses will bring the microphone to you because we really would like to see some kind of interactivity um, it is a great pleasure now to introduce to you the keynote speaker and before I do this I brought an artifact this thing here is from 2005 at the PDC 05 in Los Angeles I was hanging around with the well, it wasn't the PowerShell team because there was no PowerShell. It was the Monad team. Last year we talked about Monad, why it was called Monad. And they gave away, I think Jim Truer was it, he, they gave away these little lamps. And it's still the original battery. Well, it, yesterday it still worked. <laughs> oh, there. It is basically representing what PowerShell was 12 years ago. It was a faint little light in darkness of VB script and, and CMD. Today, a decade later, we have seen so many great things, especially in the past 12 months uh, when PowerShell went open source. So I'm really happy to get the State of the Union from our keynote speaker. And today, PowerShell is more or less like this. So it's really bright and it's rugged in its industrial strength. So welcome with me, the PowerShell inventor and the Microsoft Technical Fellow, Mr. Jeffrey Snova. So good to have you. Thank you. 